I'm Annie Stores. welcome back to another video. So you'll see I'm donning my mini ears today and that's because I wanted to share with you my everyday park outfits. So you might have seen from previous videos that I'll link down below that I have done a couple of Disney bounding videos and I do love Disney bounding in the parks. Like I love selecting the outfit before we go and pulling everything together so it really represents the character that I'm trying to portray. But I don't do this every day that I'm in the Disney parks and one of the reasons is we quite like to pack light because we do do a lot of shopping when we're in Disney and we need that extra luggage space for what we're bringing back. And Disney bounding often is very specific to each like outfit. So there's often like quite a lot that goes with it. So I do also have sort of regular everyday clothing that I wear in Disney with, with of course a Disney twist. So I thought I'd share that with you today. I'm just bringing myself a little bit of Disney magic while we're still in lockdown and um, there is no view of a park in sight at the moment. So just trying to keep my Disney spirits high. So would love to hear from you as to what you wear in the parks. Like I see some amazing outfits on Instagram and what people are wearing. So let me know if you've got a page that you'd like me to have a look at because I just love seeing all of your inspiration for Disney outfits. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I wear. So my first outfit is my sort of everyday go-to. So I've just got on a pair of dark jeans. These are girlfriend jeans, so they've got like a tone up at the bottom. I then usually wear an oversized t-shirt, which I like to tuck in just to kind of give it a bit of definition. And then whatever park is I'm choosing to wear on that day. Now these don't actually match. These are the Minnie Mouse main attraction projection ears, and I'm wearing a villains t-shirt. However, I've got so many Disney t-shirts and so many Disney ears. So actually what I would tend to do is kind of match the t-shirt maybe with their ears. However, to tie it all together, I also have my lounge fly backpack because backpacks are an absolute must for me in Disney. We always have so much to carry around. So that's where it's tied in with the backpack and the ears. So this is just my everyday go-to outfit, I guess, in Disney. It's just really comfy really quite lightweight to wear around the parks and depending on what we're doing like would I always go for denim I think if we're hammering the water rides then possibly not because obviously denim is going to take a while to dry but actually for most things that we do I think this is just a regular outfit that I think is quite cute to wear around the parks and you can mix and match depending on you know the t-shirt the ears and the backpacks that you'd like to accessorize it with so to go from day to night, um, we always chuck in a couple of spirit jerseys, um, maybe into our backpacks. And this is my Epcot Food and Wine Festival spirit jersey that I got last year. And really, you know, if you're anything like us, we just hammer the parks from sort of day to night to fireworks. We never really go back to the hotel or stop off to do anything else. So therefore we are in the parks all day and I don't really have an opportunity to go back and get changed. So by chucking in a spirit jersey, it means that we can stay out for the evening to watch the fireworks before we come home and we can keep ourselves warm. Now, I guess that does really depend on the time of year that we do go. We have been to Disneyland Paris over winter and it was absolutely freezing. So obviously big coats were a must. But, you know, normally day to day, like if you're going sort of any time between sort of spring and summer, a spirit jersey will really suffice and we always try and pick up a new jumper or spirit jersey every time we go to the parks so we're building up quite a collection now and they're just so cute really casual really comfy and like easy to wear and like like feeling like you're snuggled into it a little bit so spirit jerseys for us are an absolute must so this next outfit is one of my absolute favorites to wear in the disney parks i just love a good circle skirt like it just makes you feel like a princess. So this skirt was from the fashion shop in Disneyland Paris Disney Village and it is so cute. So it's got like Hawaiian themed Mickeys all over it in sort of blues and pinks and purples and at first glance you might not even think it was a Disney skirt because I think Mickey blends in with the flowers and um but it's often when we're in the parks that people see the skirt and absolutely love it, always asking where it's from. And it was quite pricey. I think it was about 50 euros. And I was really um and ahhing about it at the time because it was quite a lot to spend on a skirt. But I've honestly worn this skirt so much, like not just in the Disney parks, but on other holidays and 
of the weekend and you know generally in like the summer is so cute so normally I wear this with just a pair of converse just something like comfy on my feet and then just a basic blue t-shirt just to kind of tie the colours in together because I don't really want to detract from the skirt I think that should be like the centerpiece of the outfit so absolutely love this one really one of my favourites so this next outfit is in a very similar style so a big circle skirt with just a plain t-shirt tucked in and the converse now this one I absolutely love again it's another like silky print skirt and gives me that circle skirt princessy feel that I love now this one was actually from the Disneyland Paris Hotel Boutique and it was actually from the kids range so this is an age 16 which was the biggest size that they have but it does have an elasticated waistband so I think that's the other reason why it fits me but I absolutely love this like Mickey and the stripes I just think it's so cute and again to sort of save on luggage space this can be sort of interchanged with a white t-shirt or a plain black t-shirt so actually we can get two days out of one outfit essentially without taking up too much room in the case so it's quite versatile for that reason as well so I always get a lot of compliments on this skirt as well and to be honest I haven't ever seen anybody else wearing it but I just love it I think it's really cute and again just something like really lightweight to sort of go around the parks in and because the um the circle skirts are quite long I don't know if you can see here but they are just below my knee and uh, it does mean that I can sort of freely go on the rides without worrying about <laughs> uh, showing anything that's not very Disney if you see what I mean and um, so this is just something that's really easy and casual to wear around the parks and again it's just another favorite of mine so this final outfit is um, a more recent outfit and this is um, the Mickey head pinafore dress from Primark and I've just got it with a long stripy um, t-shirt underneath and this is really cute like I know everyone kind of went nuts for all the Primark Disney clothing and um, I, I did get quite a few t-shirts but I didn't really get much else but then I spotted this and absolutely like had to have it so it has got mickey heads all over the print which you can see here now it is missing pockets it feels like for a dungaree dress it should have like big pockets here but it doesn't it also is a bit shorter than what i would normally wear so it is above the knee so this one you have to be a little bit careful with when you're kind of hopping on and off rides especially anything that you have to kind of climb on because uh, you know got to keep it friendly for the kids so I absolutely love this one and I think it just looks cute with a long stripy t-shirt underneath. Again, you can have like a short sleeve t-shirt underneath or sort of any kind of colour actually because um, because they're black it would really go with anything. But I quite like this look. I think it's really cute and casual for just a day around the parks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making it actually. It's been really nice to kind of put on some of like my park themed outfits that I usually wear. And even though, you know, it's still probably a long way off until we can get back to the parks again, it's nice just to feel like in the Disney spirit again. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please do let me know down in the comments below if you've got an Instagram that you'd like me to have a look at or a shop if you sell Disney clothing because I'm always interested in adding to my collection. So do let me know. Thanks and I'll see you soon.